God bless y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to Faith in Jesus Ministries. My name is Mike Barclay. We're going to be talking about UFOs and extra extraterrestrials in the Bible today. We love coming to your homes on YouTube and Facebook and blessing you and making you a blessing. You better call somebody and tell them, Brother Mike's preaching again. He's got the Word of God. He's swinging it like nunchucks. A business pilot, Kenneth Arnold, on a single engine plane, altitude of approximately 5,000 feet, the Cascade Mountains in Washington, saw a blue white flash in a chain of nine peculiar aircraft, flying at incredible speed. He approximated the speed of those craft to be 1,600 miles an hour, nearly three times faster than any plane in existence at that time. Remember, this is 1947, right after World War II. Landed, he was interviewed by some reporters, and one reporter said, Bell Ducat recorded Arnold's words. He said they flew like a saucer if you skipped it across the water. Unquote. The headline was in the newspaper, Mystery Disc Skips Across the Sky. The New York Times said, picked up the story and said that he had seen nothing more than atoms escaping from some type of bomb. It suggests he's seen experimental aircraft. Bell's treatment by the media was less than favorable. He was ridiculed for years, and eventually he stated that he said that he wouldn't report a flying 10-story building. It's important to understand how they treated him in 1947. Of course, the media, the fourth estate, the most powerful media in this country, is accountable to no one. And they could put you up and bring you down. They could shut a business down, or they could build it up. Fourth estate. They hide behind the First Amendment of the Constitution. They love it, but they'll take it away from you in a heartbeat. That's what PC, political correctness, is. It's about taking your freedom of speech away from you. To the news, the last few days, U.S. Navy pilots, and these are some of the finest pilots in the Air Force, are top of the line, top gun pilots. Smart, articulate, observant, and they saw unexplained flying objects. UFOs. They said they look like a spinning top. For a, a pl were seen daily from March th 2014 to March 2015 in the skies over the East Coast. Navy pilots reported to their superiors that the objects had no, no visible engine or infrared exhaust. They could reach 30,000 feet at hypersonic speeds. They get up there. It's called flight level at 30,000 feet. These Navy pilots say landing on an aircraft carrier is like landing on a postage stamp. So obviously they know what they see. They're good at it. They've been trained. One of them is Lieutenant Graves. Another Lieutenant Danny Atcoin. Super Hornet pilot. Part of a squadron. They simply said for what they saw defies explanation. There's no doubt in this preacher's mind that people have seen and are seeing UFOs. The issue as a Christian should be twofold. What are they, and why are they, and what's their purpose? These are big questions. What are they, and why are they? First of all, I think the paranormal is a supernatural thing. The Bible-believing Christian has no problem in believing things that defy physics are, are happening. The idea that UFOs exist is a non-issue at all. Do a little research, you go back, and you'll find out for centuries that this has been happening. Civilizations like the Mayas, the Babylonians, the Samaritans. The Egyptians saw UFOs and wrote it down. Egyptians have lengthy discussions and pictographs of UFOs. Aircraft with people on board, communicating with them, coming down. They all have a usual theme. Something came down from up there. Something came down here and cohabitated with our beautiful women. From that came a race of giants called the Nephilim. Mighty men, men of renown. So we have communication from a different plane of existence that we're uncomfortable with. For a great part of this nation thinks that only wackos and psychics are was intentionally kept in the fringes. The government has not taken an open and honest evaluation of the UFO phenomenon. But in recent years, this perception has began to crumble. 
perhaps by design, because the numerous astronauts have spoken publicly. So just put that in the back of your mind, because this is a very important issue. At first, they denied it. It started with Pilot Arnold in Roswell, that one crash. The government keeps it all hush-hush like they always do. Now they're beginning to change, starting to change their official position against UFOs. Why now? Why now? Why now? NASA scientists find life on Mars. You would not believe how that excited people. This is what they're searching for. They're searching for their root. We talked about evolution. We talked about Francis Crick. Back into him in a few minutes. Scientists are jettisoning evolution by the day. The idea that we evolved from a simple thing into a complex thing over billions and billions of years. Marvel how they reached the billion figure. A thousand million years. It's a long time, folks. Throw years around like it means nothing. Golden startles the world by saying NASA a scientist finds evidence on Mars. The next day, President Clinton joined the announcement on South Lawn in the White House. Quote, this is the product of years of investigation and studies by some of the world's greatest scientists. Like all studies, this one shall continue to be reviewed and scrutinized. It must be confirmed by other scientists. Clearly, something like this is being explored is another vindication of America's space program. Vindication of America's space program. Our continuing support for it, even these tough financial times. They're going to put all their power into the search of life on Mars. The whole Bible gives me the answers to all the questions I need. In any event, you see how excited President Clinton was at the idea there may be life on Mars. Francis Crape was one of the most brilliant genius scientists there is. He was the co-discoverer of DNA. DNA is the code of life. It's amazing when you get into the message coming down from E.T., the extraterrestrials. The message in the 1800s and 1600s and 1900s. Didn't say anything about DNA. It's only when we discover DNA. We have a message about DNA. There's something coming down from above. The book of Daniel, chapter number 12, says, In the end times, knowledge shall increase. There's a lot of people that think all the knowledge we're, come, we're getting today is coming from demons. Straight from demons. It's time. We discover this at a certain time. And the world has been shocked. And maybe the demons decided this is time to get their attention. People are scratching and crawling just to exist, just to get food. When you're reduced to a point like that, everything changes. In Venezuela, they're robbing graves. They were buried with their gold, their silver, you know, their wealth. People that live there know it. Venezuela's been reduced to a place that they're scratching and crawling just to exist. And here they are robbing graves. That could happen here in the U.S. That's when these entities begin to speak. Anyway, Crick believes life on Earth may have begun when aliens from another planet a rocket ship containing spores to see the earth we got an iq 170 180 and 190 absolutely rejected evolution he's become the blunt of a lot of jokes but you can't argue with the man's intelligence and i'll tell you something he ain't the only one molecular biologist michael denton discussed the irony of panspermia Panspermia means the sperm, the seed of life, came from up there. Aliens came down and planted that seed here. The enigma is they act like they know what they're talking about, but in reality, they don't know where it came from. In order to be part of the good old boys club, publishing magazines, and this and that, and this and that, they have to walk the walk and talk the talk and become part of the system. Remember the book I talked about last week, Xenogenesis. Xeno foreign Genesis origin, a foreign origin. This is important. This is leading somewhere to the great deception. They, it's becoming a religious thing. Remember the Apple White and the and the suicide of like twenty seven people years ago named Heaven's Gate cult. They all had the shroud on the body, dressed in purple and Nike shoes. And ten dollars a quarters. Evidently, UFOs run off quarters, and they tried to meet Haley's comet with quarters. 20, 25 people committed suicide and they're ready to go meet this thing in the sky. You notice all occult religions deal with the paranormal, spiritual aspect, aspect that's not of the scripture. They refuse to be, believe the Bible's definition of what we are. This is all about. The aliens want us to believe that they created mankind. According to the extraterrestrials, they created man in their image by sophisticated genetic engineering. Extraterrestrials told the true story of their creation. What's that mean? That means the Bible is wrong. The Bible definitely gives you the story of creation. As in the beginning was God, was the Word, and the Word was God, 
and he was with God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, but they rejected the Bible. When you reject the Bible, folks, you're on dangerous ground. A lot of issues you have to deal with. Life is complicated. Life is not as simple as it was in 1947. You live a few years in this world, you see a lot of evil things happening. School shootings that are enigmas. Some things in life absolutely blows you away. You think, how could somebody be so cruel to shoot 27 children? And strangles his wife to death and takes his two young children and puts them in barrels of oil. He's got his lover and he wants to get rid of his wife. Man, there's a thing called divorce. And the investigators that investigated, investigated this thing are still having problems and nightmares after seeing that. Because they couldn't believe that somebody would do something like that. Tell you what, Satan is talking to some people, and some people are listening. That's barbaric. Man goes into a store over a black thing and murders 12 people. Just shoots them dead. I doubt seriously if he ever thought, I'm going to die and go to hell. I don't think that was on his mind. Let me tell you what, murderers go to hell. Literally, they're human beings in their image. And DNA by significantly advanced people made human beings in their image. People's minds are warped. That's what my grandmother used to say. People of mine are warped. The message is all religions were founded by extraterrestrials. They all point to the universal truth. According to the UFO people, all religious leaders, Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, when they put his name with anybody else's name like that, that just galls. They were half human and half ET prophet. Created by the ET, increasing light and knowledge to mankind in successive epics. The ETs are assaulting your mind, programming you to think a certain way. One of the ways they do that is desensitize and reveal. Without Earth, you could not be here. Earth is reaching for a higher frequency that will bring about a cleansing. Balance it once again. There's a potential for many people to leave the planet this afternoon. These people no longer fit in keeping Earth from evolving to the next plane. People leaving Earth during the Earth changes do not fit here any longer. The age of Aquarius don't fit here any longer and they're stopping the harmony of Earth. There's a lot of people out there who believe the Earth is alive. Earth has a spirit here. Mother Earth. Aya, just look it up and see what they're talking about. Time comes like 20 million people leave the planet. A tremendous shift in confidence for those that are remaining. The terrestrial state, those who refuse to be enlightened, and God will take be taken to other planets that are uninhabited, but habitable. There they will make a new start. Why would they even say that? Does anybody know about anything in the Bible about saying a whole lot of people going to be leaving out of here? Like the rapture? Seems like the demons believe the Bible more than a lot of preachers do. They say, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? Demons know who the Lord is. Here it is lining up with the word of God. It's duck tailing down to this time. 2023. It'd be a wonderful thing if we heard the shout. To say the ETs have come and carried us up to another place there, and it's going to be the rapture. The Lord's going. The day of the Lord's going to happen. And he's going to call us home to be absent with the bodies, to be present with the Lord. This pastor said, "Deliver us from the evil of straight white men and fossil fuels." This man rejected the cross. He doesn't know what the gospel is. He doesn't have a clue. The Bible means nothing to this man. How hard would it be for them to accept? What's happening here? So there are individuals who pollute the earth. I'm one of them. Is as they say, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. I got most of this information is called a book called Alien Encounters by Chuck, Chuck Hessler. Respect this man. Just passed on not too long ago. Very smart man, folks. Sometimes you put things out hypothetically when you're a preacher man. Alien Encounters, it's on Kindle, you can get a hold of it. The internet has some good things and some bad things. Great evacuation will come upon the world very suddenly. Flash of emergency events will be as lightning. It's happening so quick that overall it'll you'll you won't be aware of its presence. The lightning flashes in the east and you see it in the west. So shall the coming of the Son of Man. These ETs are trying to brainwash the minds of people, preparing them for when everybody leaves and goes to be with the Lord. So get ready, get ready, they're preparing you. The Brooklyn Institute made a discovery. The discovery of life in the immediate universe is not likely in the immediate future. It could nevertheless happen at any time. The discovery of other beings in the universe could start an all-out effort to contact them. Remember back in the 50s, they said, take me to your leader? That'd be a shame now that 
Biden being the leader, they would think we're stupid or something. The saucer comes down, lands on the White House lawn, and then they take him to Biden. It could sweep sweeping changes in the downfall of the civilization. The U.S. will be disintegrated when we meet a superior being. They're coming from out there to here. They gotta be smarter than us because we can't go out there. The furthest we send anybody was where? The moon. I believe how many people believe that that was filmed out in the desert in Arizona. They don't believe anybody's ever gone to the moon. Now more than 75% of Americans believe extraterrestrials exist and have been visiting us for millennia. That's quite a thing. That's three out of four people out here. Millions believe they're benevolent space brother who through their vastly superior technology are capable of rescuing us from our current predicament. They're beginning to understand DNA and how to make a human. People have been brainwashed to accepting a theory that cannot stand on its own. I think a demon gave Darwin what he got. What he got prepared people for the breakdown in the new message. MUFON is an uh, organization that studies extraterrestrials. They're smarter than us. They have evolved to a much higher source of life. And they want to come down here and they want to help us. Yeah, right. Because they're our space brothers. You know, people believe what they are, don't you? They're demons. You should never be fooled or entertained by a demon. They're demons. Daimonion. The old ancient Greeks believed to have a demon on a chain is a good thing. That's what Satan is. God's dog. God's demon. A demon is a source of knowledge. Of course, you have all these oracles of Delphi. And they went, they went to them. They pronosticated. They were seers. Go into a trance. They received knowledge from the spirit world. Believe me, kings would go. Kings and princes and princesses go to these oracles. Satan always has his counterfeit to the truth. If you believe God's going to come back and get his people and take them up to meet him in the air, most people, most people in America think you're a nutball. You're insane. You deserve to be in a mental institution. If you believe we got space brothers out here that planted seed in this world, evolving to what we are, and take us all up and put us on the other planet, then you're smart. It happened right after World War II. They found the saucers. So it makes you think maybe they have another war plan. Albert Pike in the 1800s talked about three world wars. If we're on the next level third world war, that would be a time for our space brothers to show up, huh? To solve everything. Believe this, when they start showing up, we're going up. I don't know the agenda of the UFOs and the extraterrestrials, but I know it's not good. It's not here to help me. I feel like they like this planet and they're going to take it from us. All these theories are well and good, but if you'd like to know the Lord Jesus Christ and have him come into your heart and make a home with you, all you got to do is say this little simple prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I repent of my sins. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you said that simple prayer with us, we like to believe you got saved. Get into a good Bible preaching church. Put God first place in your life. He'll take you places you never dreamed. Stay tuned for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and show his mercy and kindness and his love. May he open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing you have no room to receive. In Jesus' name, thank you, thank you, amen, hallelujah, glory be to God.